Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Reviews. I don't know if my ring light's reflecting back on my glasses, so I'll just take, I didn't realise when I did the last video. Right guys, so this is gonna be um, what I call a mixed haul. Some of the things I don't have here, but I will put a picture up here so you can see what I've got. I know I'd rather have had it in front of me, but unfortunately it's been grabbed for me elsewhere and yeah, until I go and collect that stuff, I haven't got it, but I can show you what I've got because my dad took some pictures of the things and sent me the pictures. So I do have the actual pictures. But before that, let's get stuck in what I've got. So guys, this is going to be Hobbycraft, <laughs> Home Bargains and The Range. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, them three. Yep. Yeah. Right, let's get stuck in. First thing I'm going to do is, I'll probably do home bargains first because I can grab that right in front of me and get it done. Now, home bargains are doing this Halloween kitchen set. They do it every year and we can never get our hands on it. Last year, I could not, for the likes, get hold of a glass pumpkin. I tried, I tried everywhere, my dad tried everywhere. Completely failed. So this year, there was no way in the world I was missing out. I do not buy things to sell for money. Anything I buy, I buy to keep for me or I, I buy for my family, you know, if they want one. But for me, I keep everything. So this is what everybody's going mad about. Now, there is a whole set of stuff that I can't get my hands on because people are like swiping them all off the shelf in one and selling them on eBay for three or four times the amount. If that's what they do, then you know that's their prerogative, but it's just not fair for people who want that thing for themselves. I don't want mine to sell, I want it to keep. I wanna eat out of it, I wanna drink out of it, I wanna make a stew out of it. But when you can't get your hands on it, what can you do? So, first things first. This is what everybody has been trying to get. This time I wasn't going to fail on getting it. So guys, Ben took me to the big home bargains because our, our local one, which is very, very small, probably don't have a lot of shelf space to stock things like this. Although they may stock them eventually, but they just don't have them as of yet. They said that they're not putting all the Halloween stuff out until probably the second week of September. So, or first week, second week of September. So I will go back and check and see if they do have the, all I want is the pumpkin, the pumpkin dish, um, one orange cup. I've got one. I said I'd pick one up for a friend, uh, Arinthia. And then I would like one orange ball, one black ball, and that is it because that's got his own balls. That's all I wanted. But you can't. I can't see any of the other stuff. It just they've gone. So I grabbed two of these guys there and then. They didn't have anything else apart from one thing which I grabbed. Um, and then I rang them about four or five days later to see if they had any more in and she said none's come in stock as of yet and she said you're best off just ringing before you come and if we've got some I can always put it aside for you because I, I've told her that I am disabled so I can't just get there in a jiffy so yeah but I haven't rang at all this week to see if they have any chances are they probably haven't so I'm gonna wait another week and then go to my local one and see if they do just have the odd dishes there so these guys are three, I think they're either $4.99 or $3.99, I can't quite remember. But I grabbed this one and I was so happy. But I grabbed... Sorry guys, I had to stop filming for a little while because we had visitors, so I'm back. <laughs> so where were we? Right, we're at the glass dish. So let me just take one out and let you see what it looked like. So everybody's after these glass dishes. Um, I did ask my dad to have a look in home bargains where he was because I know they've got fairly big home bargains on like here we've only got one big one here and he couldn't find the rest of the stuff that I was looking for but he did find me one of these as well so I've actually got three of these glass dishes which I'm, I'm really not bothered about one I will probably put biscuits in or sweets for Zach or whatever or one for pasta they'll go with the decor of our kitchen my TK Maxx haul that I'm going to be doing next is now these don't sit on like you would get your normal pots that have that suction in it literally just sits on the top 
So if you want things to keep fresh, probably like biscuits, chances are that they might go stale because they're not in an enclosed jar, but I don't know, we'll see. It says it's a glass sweet jar, so I'm not gonna fill all three of them up with sweets, that would be just crazy, but I probably will use one of them um, at this present time for sweets for Halloween and one in here, but then when I do actually put them back in the kitchen, I will use them for more things like pasta and stuff like that. So I'm sure they were either $4.99 or $3.99. I think they might have been $3.99 and the pumpkin jar that they've got there, I think that one might have been $4.99. So home bargains, that was my first two things that I found. And then I found the only one they had on the shelf. Now they do the um, bowl in this as well. Uh, let me think what they do in, they do the bowl, the cup, and they do it in, black white and orange i just wanted two black two orange two black balls two orange balls and the pumpkin and obviously a glass jar but i ended up with more than one glass jar but i'm not i'm not bothered about that i really do want the pumpkin one it's just it's just the need of it going with the set that i've got um quickly i'll just show you the penland things i took the flowers out I, I just wasn't it was not going with my decor so i've took that out and i'm going to make some kind of halloween graveyard scene in the cauldron one and i may do something on this one i'm not too sure what yet but i'll figure it out but that's what i plan to do with them pots i've took the flowers out the pots are definitely worth five pound in itself, so I'm happy about that. Or you can add your own plants to it. I mean, it's quite easy to put some tape and just drill a tiny little hole for drainage. So yeah. So yeah, I only managed to get one cup, guys. These are quite more round apart from the other cups that we get from Penland. So I really do want to find, if I don't find another black one, at least find one more orange one. I won't give up until I find it and we've got a while yet before it's the end of Halloween so I'm I am I'm gonna find it I'm gonna find it so that was the home bargain guys I will slip a picture up here as you see I had a third bowl and I also had Wickford and Cole candles yep so my dad's picked me up some candles from there so that's the halloween range and a couple of the christmas range my phone's over there so i can't turn it off sorry guys then i went to um we'll do hobbycraft next guys so i went to hobbycraft and they had two of these on the table and i thought oh my god because i'm concentrating on my kitchen like not this house because i'm going to be moving but certain decor that i want in my kitchen I'm gonna get a black kettle and toaster for Christmas and you know, some black and white cups, black and white plates. I'm, I'm getting there, step by step, I'm getting little bits and pieces. But I've seen this and I thought, this would be absolutely great to fill up with some kind of juice that means that like, stick it in the fridge, pull it out in the daytime, your little taps inside there with your instructions and obviously you just or if you're entertaining having a party, you could fill this up with a really nice cocktail punch, fill it up with ice, fruit, and then still use the tap and then have a spoon to scoop out the fruit to put in your, your mugs. I've got two school mugs as well, glasses that go with this in purple. I might see if I can find some two clear ones and put them either side with a straw, change of straws to metal straws. This was £6, guys, and I thought for £6 it was really good. So it's just got a twisted cap. And then here is your connection. Now, six pound. I thought, wow, that is that is so good for six pound. Now I think as it goes, I think that goes on. Not sure if that goes that way or that way, and the tap goes in that way. We'll just try it and see. If that works, yeah, there we go. So there's your little lid thing and you just, that is just absolutely amazing. I'm so chuffed with that, but I'm going to put it away for when we move guys. So I may not entertain it this year. It all depends if we're planning on moving this, this year or 
after Halloween, I don't know, I can't really say. But if we're going to be here for Halloween, chances are I may just fill this up with some kind of fruit punch or something. Halloween, Halloween fruit punch. Maybe have a Halloween party before we leave. But six pound guys, hobby craft. The lady said there's not going to be loads of these on the shelf. So if you do find these, I think you've struck gold and I'm just happy that I got one. I mean, I could quite have easily grabbed two and maybe sold one for the asking price, but I had so much stuff to carry and my back was absolutely annihilated. So that was that guys from Hobbycraft. Then from Hobbycraft, I also seen this. They did this in purple as well. I thought this was a really good idea to fill up like water on the table. I mean, we like to drink fresh water when we're set at the dinner table. You could just quite easily fill it up with water. And then it's your, is it your pull cap? Yeah, remember the old Grolsch things that you used to have on? And if this breaks, I have got a spare one because I've actually got the Grolsch one. Um, and then you can just fill this up with your bottled water and then just stick it in the fridge. It's nice and cold or any fruit juice that you've got. You could just fill it up with fruit juice and then just bring it out every day on your table. So you've got a juice to drink. That was four pound guys. So 10 pound for them two. I wasn't going to complain. Now I've got to tell you hobby craft really did wrap these up with so much paper and sellotape and there was no way I was going to go home broke. I left one tape so you could see just how much they taped their items up. Really, really wrapped them up well. And she also knew that I had some TK Maxx items that were breakable and she actually wrapped them up for me as well, which is not even her stock. And <laughs> She wrapped it up for us. Um, lovely lady. Both times that I went, really nice lady. So the staff in Hobbycraft are really nice, really nice friendly staff. So I bought this for a pound, guys. They had this in purple as well. I think they may have them in other colours, but I just grabbed this one just because it kind of goes with the whole decor. Now, I might just go back and get two more of these. So one for me, one for Ben, one for Zach. And then we've all got quite strong, sturdy glass, guys, I've got to tell you. I'm gonna keep it wrapped up because obviously all this I'm gonna packing away pound guys so not that expensive i will probably go back in and grab another one um before long and put it away so that was that and then my last but not least from hobby craft i grabbed these because the um halloween page that i i mentioned which is the iso halloween uk 2021 they were putting these on there and showing them. Now this was actually in the Christmas department, not in the Halloween department. But I've got a thing about haunted houses at the minute and how good these look lit up. They just look really cosy, really pretty. You can paint them spooky if you want. I may just, I may just sit down and possibly paint these spooky and maybe get some little baby spiders and maybe stick them on the top or something spooky on top. The netting that I got, I stuck it over my lamp and it actually, it does what I need it to do. So I'm happy with that. Um, these were £2.50 guys. And I thought £2.50 was super cheap. These are ceramic. It just says ceramic tea light holders. So I'm super dope that I've, I've got these. Um, I will probably paint them. When? I don't know. If I do paint them this year, I'll paint them this year. I don't want to be painting things if I know I've got to pack them. So we'll see but these are really really i am going to take them out guys i am going to use them now but i think i'm going to keep the box aside so i can pack them back into this original box when i am moving away so at least i know that they are in the original packaging for safe transportation now remember they're only ceramic so very very lightweight um Ooh, go through me actually, but you could really paint these really nice. I might actually go back in Hobbycraft, get a paint set, sit and paint these spooky. And then we've got three spooky houses that you can just put your candle in and light up. £2.50 guys, they didn't have many left. So if you are going to go and grab them, go and grab some. But I think they'll probably get a lot more of these in because they're a Christmas edition, not Halloween edition. So that was that guys. So that was everything I got from Hobbycraft. Everything I got from Home Bargains. And last but not least, 
the range. Now guys, I went into the range in mind looking for a certain um, thing. Now, when I saw what they were doing, again on my Halloween page, somebody put a picture up of what they had in the range as far as their Halloween collection so far. And I was just drawn instantly to um, three items, three glass items. I was like, oh, the range near me is not that far away, but it's far enough for me. My scooter wouldn't get me there. And I just thought, oh, I'm not going to be able to get there. So I asked my dad if he could go and have a look in the range and see if he could possibly find one or two of these items. So guys, my dad went and he contacted me and he said, well, there's all three of them here. Which one did you want? And I said, oh, at the time I wanted, I wanted two of them. They wanted the graveyard one and I wanted the haunted house one. But I thought, you know, it's coming out of my dad's money and, I, uh, you know, I've got to pay him. So I'll just pick the graveyard one. So, um the haunted house one so i picked the house one he grabbed that and he grabbed me uh, a reef so i was chuffed with that so here's a picture up here alongside with my home bargain candles and then um i went to the range my son-in-law took me in the hope that i would find the graveyard because i got the the he no evil see no evil he got that one he went back and got that one after for me because i think he knew that i love skulls and he said the graveyard one had gone. So I was like, damn. Because I did say to him, you can get me the graveyard one now, Dad. I love that as well. But that had gone. So I was a little bit like bummed out that he'd gone. I really wanted it. Um, it's this this need of wanting things, guys. It's like it gets it gets addictive. And somewhere along the line, you've got to you've got to draw that line and say that's enough. I I looking at my stuff right now, and I have got enough stuff, guys. I'm finding hard to find places for it to go so me personally this is why I said there's a, a limit what I want there's a few things I want to grab that are just small things but that's it but I went into the range and they only had the see no evil hear no evil ones left and they had one with a skull holding its hands up like this but it was plastic and it thought it looked a bit cheap and tacky so I didn't want to get it but then I spotted this if you remember last year I went mad for pound land lanterns and I bought three or four of them and then I spotted this and I went oh, haunted house one see me I'm doing the haunted house thing this year I thought oh well, I'll grab one of them and I love these lanterns guys let me just light it up if I can get it on oh wrong one so it might need the battery changing because it doesn't seem that strong and you might not be able to see it but I just think it looks really nice. It's got red glass rather than the clear glass like the other lanterns have. And then they've got this glass design of my finger marks on a, of a haunted house with the full moon and the bats going around. It just looks very spooky and very creepy and I absolutely love it. This, guys, I don't think I've took the price off. Yeah, this was $6.99. Big, the big difference to the one pound ones that Poundland were doing and they are pretty much very similar to them but this is done is it the hello scream or the haunted hello set so i grabbed one i did want to grab two about 6.99 i thought that was a bit expensive if these had been 2.99 i probably would have grabbed two for the same amount but the fact that it was seven pound for one i thought nah i'll leave it that's 14 pound and then I thought, oh, I spotted these. Perfect. I'm just waiting for zero to pop back in. That clock's definitely come at the right time now with the Halloween season approaching. So I got the spooky string lights and these are actually like steel lights and the bulbs in between the steel caging. Now this one shows spider pumpkins and ghosties and they just take two AA batteries. I've got plenty of batteries. I can't wait to put these out. I don't know where I'm going to put these as of yet, but they will go somewhere around here, possibly around the, the unit here. Or I could put it around the hi-fi unit or my TV unit. I haven't decided, but these were $4.99 guys and I grabbed them. They're bigger than the ones that I got from... Um, I shared the ones from Aisha was in a smaller box, but I can't wait. I can't
can't wait to use these. So guys, that is it. That is it. Obviously, I'll put pictures of the end of everything that I got so you can see. But that is Home Bargains, Hobby Craft and The Range. I'm happy with what I got. Will I go back to The Range now? No, I've got all three glass domes. I'm happy with that. I've got that beautiful skull reef, which I'll probably put on the door here. Um, it will eventually go upstairs in my room because of the skull theme. And I'm happy with what I've got. I also got a candle holder, orange candle holder, if you see in that picture. That actually was from Hobbycraft as well. And the door thing doo -doo, is from Home Bar B&M. B&M or Home Bargains, but it's B&M. Or it might be Home Bargains, actually. Either Home Bargains or B&M. Possibly B&M, because I got one last year. So in that picture, you can see it there. All right, guys, take care of yourself. We're all ready for Halloween. I've put them pretty much done for Halloween but at least for October I can enjoy the run up to my son's birthday sax nine this year so I tend to get everything out of the way like Halloween stuff that I want to buy and then October I can just enjoy October save up for Zach's birthday and I don't have to start going to TK Max or any other places that stock Halloween stuff because I would have done it all in September so happy days all right guys take care put your um, comments down below what was your favorite item probably the glass pumpkin or the glass um, decanter. Let me know which one's your favourite and did you get one? Let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.